Hello everybody and welcome back to more Paranautical Activity Patch 1.7 preview build. We encountered a pretty bad bug last time. If you missed it, you might want to go back and see it. The video is pretty short and you can skip to, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so probably to be see it. It's just before I go down to the next floor, but uh, I will tell you now. So if you want to see it rather than hear about it, go and watch it. But basically I got onto a floor and there were no doors. I was I was in the in the first room of the elevator and there were no doors to anywhere else on the floor. I could see rooms on the mini map. The boss was right there, but I couldn't get into any of them. So I had no choice but to quit the run, which was kind of sad. But uh, I'm going to avoid picking up the magnet because I think that might have been what caused it. Because I remember back in back in the day, there was a there was a bug with the magnet where uh, it would cause a floor not to spawn somehow, and. Um, that bug seems to have reappeared, except for... It previously just never used to spawn any rooms. Now it spawns rooms, but there's no doors. But it still seems to be the same bug, so I'm going to avoid the magnet. Just in case that was what caused it. But we're going to have a go with the shotgun today, which I've immediately screwed up. Uh, this is terrible. This is My god, that was a bad start. How did I manage to get myself under there and stuck? God, I feel slow. I feel so slow, because I was just playing with the Gorton class. Which is super, which is super fast. This is being recorded immediately after my previous run, by the way, and I feel super slow. So I walked under some stairs and immediately got stuck. And that was like the worst start I've ever had to a run, especially with this weapon. But hey, never mind. Not the end of the world. I think I sounded incredibly British just then, didn't I? Which just shouldn't. Oh God, what the hell? Did that guy just explode through a wall? Well, at least we got a, a health upgrade. I have no idea what just happened. Anyway, oh crap! There's still a guy in here. God, my, I'm not with it. I'm still thinking about that bug. And whether, oh my god, I, oh my god, I can't even get to it. I can't even get to it. I need it. I need, oh my god. Okay, I hope I get some kind of upgrade in this fall that allows me to reach that, because Jesus Christ, I want that upgrade. It's the double rate of fire upgrade thingy, and it's awesome. Okay, so I need to be careful here, because I think there is a, yeah, there's a bomb, bomb frog in this room. There's two bomb frogs in this room, which is not something I was aware of. Oh, a full health pill, that could be nice. God, there's so many good power-ups already on this floor. Holy crap. I mean, what is that? Is that ammo? Can I even switch now? I, ha I have ammo, but I don't have a super weapon. That's interesting. I guess I could just use... Yeah, definitely going to use invincibility in here. What do we have, like, eight seconds left? Crap. Okay, I need to do as much damage as possible, because... We may end up needing this full health pill. Okay, we might be able to do this without getting hit, actually. But yeah, that invincibility thing was definitely good for this. Jesus Christ. More shots. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice upgrade. Kiss of death. More damage, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the full health pill now. Unless we get some kind of jump upgrade that will allow us to reach this assault upgrade. Because of uh, power-up. Brain, they're called frickin' power-ups. But yeah, if we can if we can reach that, I definitely want that, because that's fucking hilarious and awesome, and with the shotgun it would be even more hilarious and awesome. Okay, into here. Try and block these bomb frogs, but that'll blow them up directly in my own face if I can find a way to do that. That'd be good. Come on. He is all the way over there, so I have time to kill this guy and then turn on him. Okay, good. That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to find a, uh, find a super weapon for this class. It's interesting playing the classes that don't start with a super weapon now, just because I'm used to having that kind of tactical option to switch to another weapon in the middle of a fight and, you know, use that to deal with an enemy that my primary weapon is struggle struggling with in some way. I think either the blowfish gun or the laser would benefit this class the best, just because you can hit things from far away, but it does considerably less damage. Okay, that was a lot of those guys. Was there three in here? Holy crap. But yeah, just considerably less damage from a distance. So I'm thinking the laser with its pinpoint accuracy, or the blowfish gun with its ability to kind of fire and forget on some kind of enemy. Although that does hit the, the, the closest enemy, so maybe the laser would be better because if you can get close enough for the blowfish gun to be effective, you might be able to kill it with the shotgun anyway. So I'm thinking of the, of the super weapons I know that exist, the laser is probably the most useful. But there might be other ones that I don't know exist yet, or maybe even ones that are yet to be added, for all I know. I'm not sure. I mean, I think this patch is content complete. But then I thought that before, and then and then the Tenchu Sword was added in another update. 
or it may just be that the um, the patch is content complete on Mike's end, but the builds he's giving us are missing some features that he hasn't tested yet. <gasps> double jump. Double jump. How much is double jump? 325. Fuck. We might not get enough. But that would allow me to get the assault upgrade, and I want the goddamn assault upgrade so bad. Oh my god. I hope the boss gives us enough to make this happen. Adobe. Eh, he's going to give us a reasonable amount, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make this happen. We have, like, one more room after this. I don't think this will happen. And Blubber is also an upgrade I don't want as the, as the tank, so... Uh, all in all, not the best boss to fight. I would have much preferred to fight Iris, because I would guarantee double jump. And then also may, ga may have gained enough... Uh, money to then buy the Angel Wings and then have flying. Because flying is amazing. It's probably my favourite thing in this patch so far. Just getting those two upgrades and being able to freaking fly. It's amazing. It's... I think I'm going to set myself my own bomb because I'm stupid, but hey. Never mind. We've taken a couple of hits in here. Hopefully Doby dropped enough health to recover that. If we get super low, I mean, I have this full health build, but, you know. I'd rather not use that on something so trivial as dealing with the, the aftermath of a boss. Okay, so I definitely don't want Blubber. And we still need, like, 60, 60 gold to afford the Angel Wings, so it's unlikely I'm going to get them. Which is a shame, but never mind. It's not the end of the world. I'm assuming this is the last room. Indeed, it is the last room. And it's very... Un especially those guys didn't even drop any money. It's very unlikely that I'll get much money out of here, let alone 60 gold. I don't think you ever get 60 gold out of one room anymore. Maybe if you have the horseshoe, but even then... We've got to get fairly close, but we're just not going to get enough. Nope. We're like 20 gold short, which is a shame. One more room would probably have done it. But never mind. At least we have plenty of money so we can afford anything on the next floor. Just gonna check there was nothing in here else that I would have wanted. I mean, flip flops maybe. Holy water, no, because I don't have any missing health right now. So yeah, we're just gonna move on. Just gonna move on to the next floor, and hopefully we'll get a nice upgrade on the next floor, which is quite expensive, which I will then be able to afford. Sea legs would be hilarious, just because I'm so slow and they make you so fast that it would remove the weakness of the tank completely. Although arguably the amount of speed they give you is a weakness in and of itself. So I continue to hate freaking ninjas the tanks because I'm never fast enough to get away from them. Okay, we have dealt with them, however. I usually try and focus them down first just because they're such a pain in the ass. I jumped into that shark because I am stupid. <laughs> oh well, we have dealt with this room anyway, so let's go pick up this last coin and see what's in our shop for today. We have Adderall, which is nice, but I'd like to get... We have a Gilead gun. Mm, that would be bad because of how low my rate of fire is. Let's go fight our miniboss. Okay, this guy. This guy shouldn't be much of a threat. We'll throw some bombs in there. We'll take up the Gileads. But yeah, I'm thinking... Um... Oh my god, I've literally just forgotten what was in the shop that I wanted. There was something in there, and I've already forgotten what it was. Well, my brain works well. God, this guy's getting close enough to damage me. Poison bombs! Yay! Not a necessary upgrade. I know there's a Gilead scum which I didn't want. I was Adderall, that was it. I want to speed up first, but there's no way of getting one now. Screw it, we're just going to take it. It's not going to make us a lot faster. It's the probably the worst, like, money to amount of speed gained for Adderall by buying it but with the tank default. I guess the worst would be if you had Blubber with the tank and then bought it. That would be like a minuscule upgrade, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not the best use of Adderall, but since I can't get another speed upgrade first, I'm not just going to leave it, like, completely, so... I guess I could have waited to see if there was a there was a, a speed shoe power up on this floor because I heard Mike say something interesting on a stream where apparently if you have an upgrade which increases one of your stats, so you have the shoe which increases how fast you go, or you have I guess the assault which increases your rate of fire, and then you pick up an upgrade which which increases that stat as well. So let's say I have the shoe, so I'm going faster temporarily, and then I pick up Adderall which increases my speed multi multiplicatively. It's a difficult word to say. Uh, then apparently the Adderall would give me more benefit if I had the shoe active when I bought it, which is really weird. I don't know if he intended that, but he seems to be aware of it and didn't say he was changing it, so maybe it was just a random side effect that he was happy with. Because it is kind of cool that you could like use your upgrades or your power-ups, for fuck's sake. You could use your power-ups to get like more of an effect out of an item, which is kind of cool. Is this room over? No, there's still a good in it. Taking quite a lot of damage, which I think is mostly just because I'm not used to being this slow, because this is the first time I've played the tank since I've been playing the game again, which has been the past two or three days has been the first time in a couple of weeks. 
because I didn't do videos for a couple of weeks because I was lazy. But now we seem to be back on schedule, so that's good. So far, so good. I've, I've not like completely fixed my sleep schedule. Like I'm pretty sure most people would still consider waking up at like m between midday and two o'clock to be a pretty bad sleep schedule. But for me, it's pretty good. So, uh, is there any point in clearing any more rooms on this floor? Not really. I may as well just go fight. Okay, it's looting. So we're not going to get double jump, which is a shame. We've already seen the angel wings as well, so we're definitely not going to get double jump. Ow, crap, I got hit by Skeleton. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, let's pick up our health and... Did we get any armor out of that? No, I don't think we did, okay. I guess we'll take floating bombs, because why not? I mean, we have poison bombs. Do we have poison bombs? Yeah, we do have poison bombs. I, I forget what was on the last run and what was on this run, but I think I've had that, that on both out of my first mini boss room, which was kind of disappointing because neither of them had um, the grenade launcher, neither of those runs with the grenade launcher, so. Well, I did get poison bombs on my grenade launcher run as well, actually, now that I mention it. <laughs> so, yeah, poison bombs has been a fairly common upgrade for me recently. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't get it. Hit I'm not, ah, crap. Did Gilead shoot that or did I shoot that? I have no idea, but something blew up the bombs. I mean, through. Uh, wow, what's left in here? Oh, crap, this guy's still alive. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's go fight the miniboss, I guess. Hopefully, we'll get a decent upgrade out of it this time. Okay, it's a nice and easy miniboss, at least. I'd really like to get the beard just because I think that would be a fun combination. The beard and the can of beans would be amazing. If you don't know what that is, the can of beans is an upgrade which is like. It's kind of like the, the bean in Isaac, except it's not activated, it just works. And basically, if you're near an enemy, you just passively do damage to it, which is pretty awesome. Like, it doesn't have to hit you or anything for you to do that damage, you just do damage to things in an AoE around you. Shield Lover, however, that's good. Speed Shoe, definitely good for this class, actually. That's a good power-up to have for this class, but I don't want to use it right now, so... Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I keep, like, walking into enemies as I spawn into a room. I guess I'm just not used to all the room layouts yet, because there has been a few more in the past couple of patches, and I don't think I've s I've seen them all, but I don't think I've like experienced them all enough to know them all just like by a quick glance into the room. So sometimes I dodge into a corner where there's an enemy because I forget that it's there. Which is kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. That kid will die. Drop like one coin, apparently. I have 400 gold now, so hopefully we can afford something nice. There is the boss, but I'd like to find the shop first, if possible. Those guys will blow up and damage me, God damn it! Uh, now we have to do interesting dodging patterns, because I have no way of jumping up there. And I've got hit again, which is nice. Okay, that guy did die, however. Okay, good. Definitely could have done worse. Get some more gold. We still have this full health bill as well. I might as well fight the boss because I have a full health bill. So. Hans, okay, we're not really fast enough to deal with you, so hopefully we have the the health to tank it. I might be fast enough, actually. He's not, like, super fast. As long as I keep bunny hopping, I'll probably be okay. Yeah, we're dealing with him. He might even be a bit slower than he used to be, I'm not sure. I feel like, by, oh, I guess I have Adderall on top of the default. I was going to say, I, I feel like with default tank speed, you can't really run away from this guy. But I forget, I have Adderall as well, and even though that's a small upgrade, it's probably just about enough to deal with this guy. And now he will just die. There we go. Hands his coat. Not bad. Lots of armor, bit more health. Don't really need more health with the tank, but it doesn't hurt. Ooh, now we have a slow time upgrade as well. Are we gonna, okay, here's the deal. I'm going to take this, because I'm not going to need full health on this floor, probably. But I could use slow on time if I get into a tricky situation just to minimize damage since I can't take it with me anyway. I may as well use it at some point on this floor. Crap. Damn, I got hit again. No, I'm getting hit so much. Maybe this class is slower than I remember. That was bad. I got caught on that guy and I didn't even manage to kill him before he fired the shot. I've taken a lot of damage so far. I've taken like three hits in this room. Probably should have used slow down time after I'd taken a couple of hits because I realised I was going to take more hits, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, just a few out left and he is now dead. Good. Right. I 
still haven't found the shop. It surprises me. Come on, Ninja. Come this way and meet your death. Okay, you are stuck. That's good. Yeah, you're definitely stuck. Okay, nothing else in there. I really want to find this shop. But still no sign of it. What the hell? I have 500 gold now, so I can afford basically anything that's going to be in there, for the most part. Just kill all these guys. I went quiet for a second there. I'm not pretty sure why. Just I guess I ran out of things to say. Okay, keep running. Don't stand still for too long. I have two armor left, but I have lots of red hearts, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I was just hoping to hold onto this armor for a bit longer. I was hoping to lose it on some more difficult rooms rather than just on these rooms, which are relatively easy. Um, we'll go this way, just because this is probably more likely to lead me to the shop, maybe. I have real no basis for that belief, but it seems to make sense in my mind, so... Crap. I used my slot on time because I knew I was about to get myself stuck under the stairs, but it wasn't enough to get me out of it. It will, however, be enough for me to clear the rest of this room without any, any trouble, so... I made some use of it, at least. And that is, in fact, the end of this room. I might even be able to get some use out of it in the next room. If I'm quick. Or I could kill nothing with the time that it gives me. Which is... Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Okay, I killed, like, one thing. Okay, now we're back to normal speed. Oh, this room has lots of things chasing me. Ninjas and bomb frogs and moths and everything. Okay, the room is however over. We got a couple of armor out of that, and there's our shop. I knew I was going to be right. I don't know why. What do we have? We have power of the gods, which is like a random power up. We have a le oh, is that the super weapon? Oh yeah, laser rifle, bitches. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll okay, another full health pill. That's good. I may as well take that with me rather than the. Um... No, what was that? What was there anything else I was going to take? I don't think there was. Okay, never mind. We'll probably clear these last two rooms just for the sake of it. But yeah, full health pill, especially with this much health, is definitely a nice power up to have. So. Uh... And the laser rifle is a very good, very good upgrade for this class. It was, it was literally the one that I was saying I think is probably going to be the best for this class. So that's nice. That's a very nice thing to have. It will allow me to take out moths or other enemies that are really far away from me without too much trouble and then the shotgun is super effective on things at close range so in fact we're going to use it right here completely ineffectively because I can't aim for shit but there we go that was a good use of a, a explosive barrel there I killed like two or three things with it and that guy is also dead. And now just this guy. Cool. So we'll collect our last bit of loot for this floor. Leaving this floor with almost 300 gold. That's pretty good. Should mean we can afford basically anything on the next floor as well, for the most part. There's, it's much less likely that you'll, that you'll keep running into really expensive items now, because most of the items out of this patch are about three or 400, so... Or maybe even two to 300. So it's not like they're super prohibitively, prohibitively expensive, so... Okay, yeah, we have two full health pills, but I haven't lost any health, so I can't even, like, use this one and then take that one. So, yeah, we're just going to move on. Down to floor number four. So far, so good. We have doors on every floor, so that's that's at least a positive sign. This room is full of schools. This is a pretty good use of this, I think, just because it will burn through them really quickly. Okay. Uh, I think I'll just fight the boss immediately, just because I don't have loads of charge in my weapon, but... We'll just use it to burn him down, and then we'll stay close with the shot. Just move away when he's about to fire his fish, and then move back in again. Firing fish, move away, move back in again. Fairly simple dodging pattern on this guy now. It's it, Ever since he was nerfed in like 1.5, or maybe even a 
small patch before 1.5. Except for the fact that I just took damage there, but for the most part he's pretty easy to dodge now. It's going to give us the trident, which I have no interest in, especially since I'm planning on avoiding the magnet in case it causes that bug again, so... Yeah, definitely not taking the trident. Uh, we can probably deal with this room, I suppose. I never liked rooms where was going to be Gilead up on the, on the ledges and the corners, but it's not the worst room in the world. Although I am taking damage, which is just bad. We have, however, used... Oh, I'm stuck! Oh, I'm stuck! Oh, God! That was bad. Oh, crap. I have a full health pill, so I mean, I still have lots of health, but, you know, it's always a shame to randomly take damage on something which shouldn't really cause me damage. Oh crap, I got hit again. Speed is really bugging me, I want more speed upgrades. I just don't feel fast enough to... Mm. These guys, these freaking guys, these goddamn frogs. Okay, we've got most of our health back that we lost here anyway, so... And there's more health in that one room, which I can see over there, thanks to the awesome minimap thing. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, Spool. There we go. And then Moth. Dodge his homing shots, and then all we should have left to deal with is... Okay, there is another Moth, actually. I only have a tiny bit of charge, but I can just shotgun him down. What did I get hit by just then? No idea. Kill these guys, and I guess I'll walk up there just to make sure I've got all the money. 400 gold, pretty good. Going to be able to afford basically anything. I'll still have to get sea legs, because I think it would be hilarious with this class. Let's go in here. Okay, let's take out the schools. Crap. I couldn't take him out fast enough. I thought, do I keep running and I'll miss him more, or do I stand still and think I can kill him before he reaches me? And I thought I could kill him before he reached me and I was wrong. But hey, we're getting a decent amount of health drops, so we're not like low on health. In fact, we're actually back to full health, so that's that's nice. I'll avoid that room unless I want to do it. I e don't like this room. Okay, we will go through this room instead, then I'll avoid the lava room unless I have to. Also don't like this room, however. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad on this floor. It's worse on the later floors when it can contain acid and it has Gileads in the corners. And Ganguses as well. Also, the axe is helping me out here. Uh, is this room over? No, there's still a skull somewhere, which worries me. Let's just drop down here. Where are you, skull? Where are you? You're up there? No. There's another full health pill, actually. That's nice. What is going on? Is there anything left in here? The doors aren't open, but I don't see any enemies. Don't tell me I got a bug again. Come on. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay, good. Didn't get a bug. Fine. That's nice. We have a second full health pill, so if I get to the end of this floor, then, if, assuming I'm not at full health at the end of the floor, then I will come back and pick that up so that I can restore my health, my <laughs> restore myself to full health and still have a pill for later floors. Basically, I can guarantee that I enter floor 5 with full health, which is nice, because floor 5 can be a pain in the ass. And I'm a little bit scared that I'm not fast enough to get away from Ganges right now, so... Uh, floor 5 could be interesting, to the least. Come on, there we go. Collect the last bits of gold. And see what's in our shop. We have... Fool. Okay. We have Crossbow, we have Sail. I think I have to take the Fool because I haven't seen it before. What does it do? Double damage? Holy shit. Okay, I'm taking the Sail as well just because speed. But holy shit, double damage. Oh shit, wait. Is this the th is this what I think it is? I remember Mike saying there's an item which doubles your damage but makes you take double damage. Ooh, that could be scary. But interesting. I'm interested to see what happens here. I wonder how much damage I do now. I wonder how much damage I take now. That Gilead exploded instantly. That was nice. The sail is a huge pickup right now, just because it allows me to do the, the to get the speed that I need, as long as I can jump. So the the laser is so good for this class. So good for this class. This allows me to precisely take our enemies at a distance, which is something the shotgun just can't do. Okay, let's continue looking for our mini-boss. 
god, we do a lot of damage now. Holy crap. I only, I've only even had, like, I think I've had one upgrade. Like, the, it was the Kiss of Death the upgrade I got. I think that was the only damage upgrade I got. We're two shot in Gileads. Holy crap. But this could all backfire horribly if we get a difficult room and I take double damage in it. So, that's interesting. Any bus time. Who do we have? This dude. Okay, we'll see how much damage we do on him in a second. Just want to... Just want to... Precision. Okay, I've used to put my laser, so I can't take out this guy with the laser. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Although I did just... Yeah, I'm definitely taking double damage, because I had two armor. I took one hit, and it's gone. That's exciting. What do we get here? Ooh, we got a Gilead gun. How slow is it? Really horribly slow. Definitely not going to use it. If I had rate of fire with double damage, that could be amazing. But, uh, yeah. We're going to just leave now, I think. I've only got 90 gold, but I really don't want to do any more rooms than are necessary because the potential for taking a lot of damage exists, and that's kind of scary. There's a crossbow there, which I don't want. Jesus Christ, could you imagine the fool with the trident? Holy shit! I could take that, but I don't I don't want to take the magnet, so that could be really bad. But I could take the trident. Imagine how much damage it would do. What the hell? Why do I have a second laser rifle? Did I not fight Poseidon in here? Did he drop a laser rifle? That's weird. Maybe he doesn't always drop the trident now. Maybe he can drop super weapons. In fact, maybe he... Huh. Maybe the trident's a super weapon now. No, it's not, because I saw it in Green's video. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I think we can use the stream to test out if we can deal with gangsters or not. At least we kill them exceedingly quickly. Well, I missed that guy completely. That was some terrible aiming right there. My aiming is not great. I'm not an FPS player by any means. Okay, there's our shop. This room scares me somewhat, but there's our shop. When we're two shotting Gileads, then, well, yeah. Oh, crap. That was scary. The double damage definitely helped me out of, out of that corner. Because I was literally stuck in a corner. Okay, we're going to very precisely take out the moth. Okay, good. That's why I love the laser. It's so good. And it's like having an assault rifle. It's like having the M14 with the with the, with the the shotgun at the same time. It's insane. Insanely good. Okay. Uh, shop time, then. Let's see what we can get on this floor, depending how much money we get. There is... Cannonball, rocket launcher, and Tesla coil. What does Tesla coil do? I'm going to take it. Oh, nice. Increased super weapon charge. Okay. If we can get enough of cannonball, I'm probably going to take it. I think this is the damage up, but shot speed down. I think the lead is damage up, but speed down, maybe. So, yeah, I'm going to get that if I can, just because rate of fire isn't, like, super important for this class. Do I want to go in here? Not really. I don't want to look at that room by any means. So, let's see if I can perhaps go this way. This room is a little bit scary, but should be doable. Okay, we've killed Gangus like instantly, so that's nice. I think we like one-shot Gangus with our double damage. If I can get more damage ups, holy shit, I'll do a lot of damage. God, that, that fool is an amazing upgrade. That might be my favourite upgrade in the game, just because the damage potential is insane. Okay, I want to deal with Gangus first. Although we are two-shot on Gilead, so you know, I'm not, not super scared of them right now. That was nice, I trapped him. Ah, oh, crap. Homing shot got me, I think. Two shot on Moth as well. Still not doing bad on health. We still have this full health pill as well. Okay, let's see how well it does on the boss. Ooh, crap. Okay, this is going to be a damage upgrade. That's awesome. Ah, crap, but the homing shot's, the homing shot's bad. I didn't have any charge in that. I thought I did. So I was like, yeah, let's just use this. And then wait, no, that didn't that didn't really help. Unless I get one of those power-ups that recharges my weapon fully, I'm probably never going to see the effect of the increased charge. So that's kind of sad, but hey. This guy should die. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get a damage up out of this, which is really nice. And there's our mini-boss actually right there, so I don't even have to go look for it. Ooh, there's a shoe. Okay, mini-boss. Okay, it's Spider Gilead. really a problem. Especially when I'm doing this much freaking damage. 
just dodges homing shots. Okay, what did he give me? Winged foot. Holy crap, that's good. That is good. Oh, I should have tested the thing. God damn it. I should have tested the thing whether if I used the speed shoe first, if it would... If it would have given me uh, more of an upgrade. But hey, we have a full health pill. Let's move down to the next floor. Floor 6, we're doing well. The fool is basically the main thing that's helping me here. Okay, let's see if we can see any important rooms right off the bat. We are now nice and fast, so I'm not... I'm not too worried about my speed. What's in here? Hmm. Can we see any important rooms right off the bat? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. So then it just becomes a game of which room looks the least threatening. Probably this room back here. I think this looked nice and straightforward. Just because I can dodge nicely around the corners and there's nothing complicated about it. Okay, the bomb throwing dudes are, as usual, helping me more than they're hindering me by blowing up Ganguses and various other enemies. Which is always nice. The fall is insane. I, I want to try a fall trident run someday. That would be just... That would be just incredible. What is this? Ooh. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to take this so I can use it in a difficult room. I can always just come back and pick up the full health upgrade, providing I'm not losing all my health in a single room. For example, this room. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to use it in here, just straight up. Let's keep an eye on how much time is left so I don't take damage. Okay, yeah. We should be able to take out this last Gilead. And then just have Bomb Dude. Crap, I got hit. I wonder if it's all... Oh, crap. Okay, so Lava definitely only does one damage to me still, so I guess that it doesn't apply the full... the, the double damage to that. Unless I just haven't been taking double damage this entire time. But I feel like I have been, because if, if there's no trade-off for double damage, that's kind of crazy. Like, I don't... I couldn't... I can't see Mike doing that. I can't see him giving you an upgrade for double damage without there being some kind of trade-off. Okay, we can see the mini boss through there, so we're going to come in here. But maybe it's only damage from certain types of enemies, or just damage from enemies. Like, maybe Lava doesn't count, because he thought that would kill you too fast, which probably would. So that wouldn't be a totally un unreasonable... Uh, thing to do to have that not trigger the double damage. Or maybe it just doesn't work. Maybe it's bugged. I don't know. <laughs> I do hate the freaking Ganguses in this room, though. It's so annoying how they get stuck under the floorboards. Okay, I don't know if there's another Gangus left. I think there probably is. Unless I killed it. Okay, I killed it when I threw the bomb, I think. That's good. I want to get this money, but I can't really get to it without falling in the lava, so... And then I could see the mini boss through one of the exits, so I'm going to go whichever way that is. Was it? It can't be through there, surely. Is it through here? Oh, that's the way in. Okay. I mean, that that's, that was the, yeah, the, the way I came into this room. Okay, there it is. Okay, we've got to do another one of these rooms. That's always good. Okay, my health's getting a little bit low. I should go back and pick up that arm, actually. I mean, the full health pill, because... I don't currently have a power-up, so it's not like I need to... Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely taking double damage from enemies. Okay. Oh, that bomb was beautifully placed. Just to take out that Genghis. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> okay, what's left in this room? Probably just Gileads, I'm hoping. Okay, well, that wasn't the only thing left in this room. If there's no other Gileads, that means there's a Genghis. I think there's... Oh, crap! Crap. Oh, shit! No! This run was going so well! The lava definitely did double damage to me at the end there. Oh, that was a shame! That was a shame! Jesus Christ, the fool is the ultimate risk versus reward item. Like, holy shit. That item is really fun. Oh, God. I'm trying to think what... I guess with the, maybe with the, um, with the Iron Heart, but then you don't get many health drops with that. Also, you can just hear my guy just repeatedly dying in lava, so that's fun. I think with the Trident would be kind of the best thing to do it with. The Trident with the Magnet, just so that you never lose the Trident. The Trident with the Magnet, with the Homing Blowfish Gun for your secondary, so that you have a way of taking out enemies that are, are difficult to hit. Yeah, that would be awesome with the Fool. Anyway guys, uh, this was another PA 1.7 run. So far so good. I'm really enjoying the patch so far. There's been a few bugs, but hopefully those will all be tidied up nicely for the time the patch is released. And I will see you next time.